welcome to our very first broadcast of Night47.com News. Thank you for joining us for today's broadcasting, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Basically, what we'll be doing is um, just discussing articles across the whole world. Some crazy articles, some medical articles, some just weird articles. And hopefully you'll enjoy the episode. Okay, so today let's start off with the douchebag of the month. This article is about a sister of a dying man who refuses to donate her bone marrow to save his life. Now if you guys have ever heard of leukemia before, leukemia is basically cancer of the blood. And when you have cancer of the blood, you need someone to donate blood that has the exact match that you have. So for example, say I have leukemia, I need someone that with the same exact blood type as me to donate the same exact uh, blood to me. Okay, and it's really rare to find the same exact blood type. So, um, basically this guy, he's just, uh, this guy from uh, Brit Britain, uh, he has leukemia and he needs uh, a blood trans uh, transfusion. And the only match they found so far is his sister, and his sister refuses to give him the, to give him her blood. So basically, she's basically just killing him off because, I mean, she's not, she's refusing to give him his blood, so he's basically going to die, and that's pretty goddamn crazy. So she's basically uh, signing his death uh, contract. And uh, when asked about this, he says, I'm on death row, uh, Preddy told the male. I can't believe that she would let my three children lose their father so un unnecessarily by her actions. And when she was asked to comment about this, she, all she did was... Uh, Refuse to comment on the whole, so it's pretty crazy. Usually, when you have a friend or a family member that needs a, some sort of donation, you probably just give it to him. I mean, hell, if one of my family members needed a kidney donation, I'd probably give it to him. This is just a blood donation. I don't know, it's pretty crazy. All right, so let's move on to something a little more. Uh, this is actually really, really cool. Uh, the title about this one is Senior Citizen Collects Cans for 30 Years to Build Community Pool. Let me just read a little bit about this. An 83-year-old Kansas woman spent 30 years driving open roads, picking up aluminum cans in a single-handed effort to raise enough money to build a community swimming pool for the children in her hometown of Eskridge. So basically what she did was go to town, pick up cans, aluminum cans, uh, metal parts, and she basically recycled them and got money for it. And if you guys have ever tried anything like that, you know that it takes a really good amount of cans to even make about $10. So, I mean, I have no idea how she collected $73,000 out of aluminum cans. That's pretty cool. And basically, she opened up a community in her community, which is really cool, actually. And that's pretty cool. Hopefully, we'll have more people like this. Alright, this is actually another crazy story, and you might not believe this, but this is actually in the United States. The title of this article is, U.S. Man Arrested for Feeding the Homeless. What the hell? This guy, he's just trying to be a good citizen. He's feeding the homeless, and they freaking arrest him. Alright, uh, let me just read a little bit about this. Police in the United States city of Florida have arrested an activist for feeding the homeless in downtown Orlando. Basically, um... This guy just fed a, a, a bunch of homeless people in downtown Orlando, and they're, I don't know what the hell they're trying to do. I guess they're just saying that he's ruining business in that area because um, people don't like uh, areas with homeless people, but that's pretty goddamn crazy. He's just trying to help people out and they arrest on. It's pretty stupid. Alright, this is in Italy. This is pretty crazy, too. Uh, Italian teacher cuts off noisy kid's tongue. What the hell? Let me just read a little bit about this. An Italian teacher has been suspended by her school in Milan after cutting off the tongue of a lively seven-year-old child with a pair of scissors. So basically the kid just was pretty noisy, so the teacher thought that cutting off his tongue would help. I don't know. It's pretty stupid. Uh, she was quoted as saying, Pull out your tongue, I'll cut it, and, you, and you'll no longer talk. And basically, she actually did what she said, which I think is pretty freaking crazy. Alright, here's another one in the U.S. Indianapolis. The title of this is, Sixth Graders Had Sex in Class. Sixth Graders. Come on, man. When I was in sixth grade, I wasn't even thinking about that stuff. I probably didn't even know what the hell that stuff was. It's pretty goddamn crazy. What's even crazier is that uh, this wasn't just one student. It was actually a couple of students. 
And what's even crazier than that is they had some, they had these watch out kids. They were just uh, basically watching out to make sure no teachers would come. And I don't know, it's pretty crazy. During school hours in a classroom with an exper experienced teacher present, two sixth graders completed the act of intercourse. At least 10 students were witnesses. No disciplinary actions were taken against the teacher. All teachers were told to keep quiet. That's pretty messed up, man. I don't know what those kids were thinking. When I was in sixth grade, I don't even think I knew about that stuff. And now here is a daily what the hell is going on. This is a mechanic. This is actually in a uh, brand also. This is a mechanic. His name is Chris Donald. And he basically... Uh, he has sex with cars. I don't know, man. I didn't write this. This is real stuff. And he's basically physically attracted to cars, and he has sex with them. I don't know why you would do that. This is... I don't know. I kind of got scared reading this, but... um, uh, As this article said, he, he admitted last night, Some men like boobs and bums, but I much prefer curvy body work. It also says he has had sex with more than 30 different models in 20 years, plus two motorboats, and a uh, and his pal's jet ski. How the f you have sex with the car in the first place? I don't know, man. This, is, this shit's pretty crazy. But um, yeah, I don't regularly have sex with his cars. I don't know how that's possible, but. Alright, here's one that's actually pretty cool slash scary at the same time. Scientists create remote-controlled pigeon. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this. This isn't actually a mechanical pigeon. It's actually a real um, living pigeon. Somehow they installed some sort of a uh, chip into his brain that controls the flight of the pigeon when the pigeon is flying. So basically, it's a living pigeon and they, they're... 100% controlling the pigeon. Um, I really don't know how this works, but uh, let me just read a little bit off of here. Chinese scientists have succeeded in implanting electrodes in the brain of a pigeon to, to control the bird's flight remotely, state media have reported. So um, that's pretty cool, and the scary thing about this is uh, a few years, what if they're able to do this to humans? Do you think they will? That'd be pretty weird if they're actually controlling humans make humans do whatever the hell they want. They could make it for them and just all unwillingly they're just controlling them from the remote. So I don't know, that's pretty much it. Thank you for joining us for today's episode. And stay tuned for our next podcast.